Can you say the name? Nobody can say it. Praise the Lord. Agarkoda Sutika Purta Yer the Jadi Mother Parakodum. Agar the Manika Ara Yoda and the Vera Vera. Any religion will say that the first two people that were created were just there, there were only two people. Adam. Who were they? Adam. And they will say Adam and Eve. And who did it? Who, did it? who, did it? who created them? It was our God. And God, who had said, do not eat, the devil uh, deceives Eve to 
you so that she will eat, eat of the fruit. And because of when he disobeyed God, he became a sinner. I want to uh, expand further. It is not because they just ate a fruit, it became sinful, they became sinners. Somebody asked me in Kerala, what kind of God is are you serving? Long time ago, some mother ate just a small fruit. Why is he making such a big deal? And it seems like they, they, it was, uh, they make it seem like it was a uh, huge deal. Uh, there was a, he might say there was nothing. It was such a small fruit. And because she loved Adam, he or she or shared it with Adam. Why is it such a big deal? It is not that they just ate a simple fruit. I want to tell you a story. There were two families. There was a fight for a property. And they started to fight. And because of that police came. The other revenue department came. And they started to mediate between, between them. And there was no chance to, for a compromise. And police said that it, the case will go to the court. And both families decided to go to the court. And they took uh, a small rope uh, from a little shop. It was only just five rupees. And they uh, uh, set boundaries to, for that property. Until the court order comes, there should not be a fight between you two. But the department and the police left. And one uh, small uh, lad came in the front. And then he had a small knife. He had a small knife. Let's say if he cuts out all the boundary ropes, and the police would come immediately, who broke out the rope, you might say that small lad, and they would capture him, and they would put capture him and take him in the police station. And this lady who's looking at this will say, what kind of beating was the day the police give this young chap? Why are you making such a big deal? Hallelujah. Why are you beating up this young chap for be, uh, cutting down these five rupee ropes? There are other ropes in that shop. I will give you ten rupees. Please uh, have more rope and let the young chap go. Will that young lad be uh, left alone? <laughs> Maybe I can give you even more rope. No. No. It is not because that they broke or, or this young chap just cut off this fire rupee rope. It is because he broke a law. It is not because they just ate a fruit became a sinful. They disobeyed the commandment of God. And what God said you cannot eat is they ate. And that's how the men come uh, became a sinner. Bible, Bible teaches us this. Adam and that Adam, the sin of Adam was spread into the whole mankind. Now I know the question will of course arise. Adam yes, Adam sinned. Even he also ate. They became sinful. Is that right? Hallelujah. Many times they ask me this. Adam and Eve sinned. They, none of the other descendants came to eat that fruit. How did those other innocent descendants become sinners as well? I will give you an example. <laughs> and a, a couple with AIDS, the, the child is then born into them. That child will also have AIDS. 
Did this child uh, do any sin? Did this child ever go out of the uh, was, was he wayward? Did he receive any kind of blood transfusion? Did he inject us with needles or certain, certain other things? He didn't do any of that. How did he become uh, uh, suffering with AIDS? It was the fruit of uh, this wicked ways of his parents that this innocent child will have to face. How did it happen? It was through blood. Through blood. If there is AIDS will kill you, then this child will also die. The death also came into this child. This child has not done anything. It was through blood that it came. Even if he is in this in this uh, Santa Claus dress, the police will still obey him. 
Can God become a man? We cannot comprehend it. Praise the Lord. I will tell you a story that I've heard. I've heard it. Let's say your father is taking his son. There is a certain insect that makes a mud house. And this mud house, let's say, uh, walking on it broke. And this started to, these insects started to crawl around. And this son might have asked, why are they walking around like this? And uh, the, this father might have said, we walked on it, that's why it got destroyed. And uh, he might have asked, if our house is also destroyed, what will we do? And he was very sad. And the son said, until you build this house for these insects, I'm not coming with you. And then morning 10 o'clock, this, this father started to build. And uh, mud after mud, he started to build it. And this 4 p.m., this house was still being destroyed. He was not able to do it. And this father was very angry. He said he left it. The son said, I'm not coming with you until you build it. For Look at the answer that this father gives. Son. Who has built this house? Who has built this house? Who? It is those insects. If I have to build this house, I have to also become an insect. I have to become an insect. Until and unless I become that, I won't be able to build it. To save a sinful man, as he was working and everything was being destroyed around him, there was no redemption for him. And God Himself became a form, taking a form of an insect, became a man and came to us. just for Hindus. He has not come for Christians. He has not come for Muslims. He has come for men of this earth. And many people will say you are changing your religion. Don't change your religion. Don't change your name as well. Is there any change if you change your religion? Is there any point if you just change your name? My name is uh, Pastor's name is Shamir. And in passport it says Muslim. Nothing has changed. There is no uh, there is no point in changing it. There is no point in changing our religion. No, the true and living God. No, your creator. No, the one who has created everything. No, your father. I'll give you an example. There is a plant in Kerala. It is uh, the one uh, poison ivy. Po yeah, poison ivy, reaching plant. There is a character that this poison ivy has. And whenever it touches your 
your body you will start to scratch. Let's say we take the plant that is in the in the backyard and we put it in our house. What will this uh, this uh, poison ivy do? The character is still that it will if you touch it it will scratch. <laughs> Let's say we change the name of, of poison ivy and give it another name. But what will it still do? The character it has is, is it will scratch you until uh, when you touch it. Even if it changes the name. Even if you change your religion. Even if you change your position. If your nature doesn't change, you will have the. There's no point. There are many in the church, sitting in church, still without no change in the nature. There is no change in their nature. Even in the church, they have this attitude of the world. None of them are saved. Be born again. There is only one name under heaven that can give you this. He took upon the sins of the mankind upon his shoulders. And he came on the cross of Calvary and walked. And he became a redemption for our sinful nature. And he sacrificed himself. And many people beat uh, uh, on the, Jesus was beaten up. But with pride, I want to say and tell you this. He's a pastor is 33 years of age. I saw him, I found him when I was 20. I have been in my 20 years of age, I have never seen a God sacrificing himself for me. For me. Many people will say that I will die for you, but not if they don't follow through. But I saw one who laid down his life for me. Jesus was beaten up for me. And he killed me. For me. Praise God. I will tell you a story. This Pastor Matthew Miller, uh, let's say he's the judge. He is the judge. As he's sitting in the judge's chair. Let's say his son comes in front of uh, being a guilty party. His heart is breaking. He is sitting in the trials box. My son, my only son. He has a desire to save him. But his judge has a peculiarity. He's a lawful man. He has to be a just in his, in his decisions. And both parties have said certain things. Exhibits and proofs were against him. There is no way to redeem him. And judge, this judge's heart is breaking within him. But he has to be a just uh, judge. He gave me a, a, a fate. And this was it. Whatever he has committed has been proven right in this court. And because of that, he has to fly, pay the fine of one million dollars. 
and because he was not raised up right and this father has to be beaten up to have, should get 50 lashes and this father gave this faith and this judge after the court session has been over takes out the robe he takes off his robe and he becomes a father and he gave his own check and gave the hundred million dollars to the son And this father, the son who sees this father suffering like this. And as the father was being beaten up. And this son is saying it is for me. The one who has not committed any sin. I 
Years passed. This beautiful girl has uh, turned into a beautiful woman. And uh, she has uh, decided to uh, marry. And she has decided to marry. Father and mother said that there was a person who has given you this life. In your marriage, you need to invite him first. Praise the Lord. Amen. She remembered, yes, that is true. We need to go invite him. With invitation goes to this young man's house. As she enters in, she could not believe it. There is a this uh, young man's picture. A very beautiful young man. Like a celebrity, this young man had it, the a picture was there. And they were very joyful when they saw this. And this young from out of the house. And they started talking. We want to invite your son. And this mother called that young person, that man. And this young man, when they saw him, they were very frightened. They were not seeing a, a person with a beautiful face or a celebrity like Clay Face. He was a young man that had a burned face. And they were frightened. Who is this? This mother says like this. To rescue your life. I received my, my son like this. And they threw away the invitation. And they said I hugged that young man and she said. And this life that you have given me, I cannot live for anyone else other than you. This beautiful face that you had once, you became a, a disfigured because of me. How can I forget you when I live with someone else? I only need you. I only need you. My father's side uh, left me or, or uh, rejected me. My mom's side also rejected me. There was not a place for me to lay my head. I didn't even have a shirt to judge. Uh, I couldn't afford a shirt. I took this Bible in my heart and left. I slept in front of a medical or a hospital. I pray to God, give me so that.